Okay, we've been learning how to get rid of parentheses, how to combine like terms, how to transpose terms, how to get isolate the x variables um, and put it on one side of the equal sign and put the knowns on the other side of the equal sign. We've been learning all that separately. When, um, on this page, we're going to put it all together. Everything we've learned in the previous pages is going to be put together and to solve these equations. Um, here we go. Over here, we're going to use the distributive axiom to get rid of the parentheses because that's the first step. You've got to get rid of the parentheses first. So we're going to whatever's inside, outside directly outside the parentheses, we're going to multiply by everything that's inside the parentheses. So five times x is five x. Five times one is a positive five. Six times x is six x, and six times two is twelve. 7 times x is 7x, and 7 times 3 is 21. Now we're going to combine all the like terms. So we're going to combine all the x's and all the, all the knowns. Um, in the steps above, they tell you to first um, transpose, but I like to combine first because I think that's easier. So let's combine first. Uh, the 7x and the 6x are the same and the 5 and the 12 are whole numbers, so we're going to combine the 6x and the 5x together. That gives us 11x. And we're going to combine the, the 5 and the 12 together. That gives us 17 equals 7x plus 21. There's nothing to combine on this side, so that stays the same. Um, now that we've combined, now we're going to transpose. I'm going to move I could do either. I could move the 11x over here and the 21 over here, or I could move the 7x over here and the 17 over this way. It doesn't matter which side of the equal sign you put the knowns or the unknowns. Um, it just matters that you move them uh, the right way. In other words, that you, you use the right signs. Um, I'm going to move the 7x over here because that'll give me a positive x variable. And I'm going to move the 17 over here because that will give me a positive um, whole number. And I like to work with positives, and I want to keep things positive. So that's why I make that decision. So if I move the 7x, I've got to subtract 7x from this side, subtract 7x from this side. If I move the 17 over here, I've got to subtract 17 from this side and subtract 17 from this side. Remember, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other for the equation to stay true. So, so 11x minus 7x is 4x. And uh, 21 um, minus 17 is 4. So now I'm going to divide by the coefficient of x, which is the next step. And that'll give me x equals 1, because 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times x is x. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. So that's my answer. So 18x minus 8x is 10x minus 6. So cross that out. And then um, here, I can combine the 140 and the negative 2, which gives me 138 plus 2x. Now I can transpose. I'm going to move the 2x over here and the negative 6 over here. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. It cancels out. And what I get is 8x. And I'm going to add 6 to this side, so that cancels out. But what I do to one side to the other, so I'm going to add 6 to this side. It gives me 144. Now I'm going to use my calculator. 144 divided by 8 equals 18. So I'm going to divide both sides by 8. And that gets rid of the 8 on this side. And um, 144 divided by 8 equals 18. So x equals 18. Okay? Okay, first step is to uh, get rid of the parentheses. We do that using the distributive axiom or distributive property. Uh, 3 times x is 3x plus 39 because 3 times 13 is 39 uh, minus 15. 
equals 4 times x is 4x, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, because when there's no sign in front of the number, it's understood to be positive. So positive 4 and a negative 2 equals a negative 8, because when you're multiplying, the signs are different, your answer is negative. Okay, now I'm going to combine like terms. I can combine the 39 and the negative 15, and I can combine the negative 8 and the negative 9. So what I'm going to have is 3x. Um, okay, so 3 minus 15, let me see. Um, 9 minus 5 is 4, and 3 minus 1 is 2, so it's a positive 24 equals a negative 8, a negative 9 is a negative 17. So 4x minus 17. Um, now that I've combined like terms, now I'm going to transpose. Remember that the steps they give you combine first, then transpose. I mean, transpose first, then combine. But I think it's easier to combine first and then transpose. So I'm going to move. Now look, the 4x is bigger than the 3x. So I'm going to move the 3x over here so I can keep my terms positive. And I'm going to move the 17 over here. That way everything will stay positive. Because if I do it the other way, I'm going to get negative answers. And I'm going to have to work a little extra, do an extra step to solve the equation. So um, if I take away 3x from this side, and if I add 17 to this side, I get rid of the 17. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So since I took away 3x from this side, I'm going to take away 3x from this side. Since I added 17 to this side, I'm going to add 17 to this side. So here we get 24 plus 17. Well, 7 plus 4 is 11. Carry the 1. That's um, 41. So I'm going to write over here. 41 equals, and 4x minus 3x is just x. So 41 equals x. That's my answer. Okay. Um, again, we got to get rid of parentheses first. So I'm going to write 10x. And then this negative is in front of the parentheses. So that means I'm going to multiply this negative times everything inside the parentheses. So a negative times a, ne a positive x gives me a negative x. And a negative times a negative 10 gives me a positive 10. 3x plus 52. Now I'm going to combine like terms. The 10x and the negative x are like terms. So that gives me 9x plus 10 equals 3x plus 52. Um, I'm going to move the 3x on this side, the 10x over, and the 10 over here. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. So that gives, that's going to give me 6x. I'm going to subtract 10 from this side. 10. That's going to give me 42. 6x equals 42. And um, I'm going to divide by 6 to get rid of the 6. And what I get is x equals 7. Okay, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to try to fly through these. Um, X, I'm going to get rid of the parentheses first. Get rid of the parentheses first. It says simplify, but there's no fraction, so we don't simplify yet. Then I'm going to combine like terms. x equals 5 according to my calculator. I only have 
10 minutes uh, per video on YouTube. So I ran out of time. I'm going to do the rest on another video.